Hey, I want to talk about the three mistakes that divorced people make that keeps you lonely, that prolongs the loneliness. And then I'm going to tell you about <clears throat> a client, a member in our Finding Peace Again program and the amazing takeaway that she had today. Uh, it, it, it's, a, it's an ongoing program where we are healing abandonment, healing from divorce, learning how to let go uh, of, of betrayal, trauma, and letting go and, and finding our own closure after divorce. So, <clears throat> you know, one of the things that I think that so many people mistake that they make when they're, when they're feeling lonely is, you know, trying to distract themselves from loneliness. And, you know, this little device right here is really contributing to it. And, you know, social media in general is actually take away divorce, take away childhood trauma and abandonment and issues that we're dealing with. And social media in and of itself is contributing to loneliness and a sense of isolation in our culture and a sense of comparison, making us feel worse about ourselves. So the smartphones, dating apps, all of that stuff is, is making us feel really disconnected. And the thing is, Loneliness is really not about disconnection from other people. It's really about the disconnection from ourselves. And when you distract yourself, again, you're keeping yourself from connecting with yourself. One of the best things that I did during my divorce was consciously surrendering to my loneliness. Y'all heard my story. You've heard me say I just wanted to date, wanted to go out, get that male attention, jump on those dating apps and the healthiest decision that I made in my start to healing my childhood trauma and my divorce baggage was sitting with that loneliness and because I was lonely during my marriage and I was lonely while I was single and it, I was a hot mess I was a hot hot mess and I I said to myself girl you have got to sit with this because you got to stop running from this I didn't know what I was doing at the time but now I can say, oh, I consciously surrendered to that loneliness. It was the best, hardest step I ever did, for sure. One of the hardest things I ever did, but also the best things, because it was my first step to my healing journey, because it helped me identify the root of my loneliness, which was feeling abandonment from my biological father. So then the second mistake that I see so many divorced people make is is jumping too early into a relationship now i see this more so with men than with women women you're going to do the next thing <laughs> that i'm going to talk about most women many women i should say it's a stereotype i'm you know so i'm generalizing here but many people jump too quickly into a relationship and they haven't done the inner work the conscious healing to really figure out who am I in this next chapter? What went wrong? You need to do an autopsy of the marriage. You've got to figure out what went wrong. What was my part in that failure of the marriage? What am I going to change about myself? Where do I need to, to put up some healthy boundaries moving forward? Uh, what, what traumas and filters and stories am I holding on to that I need to let go moving forward into this next chapter? So Jumping too soon into a relationship, you're getting those good feelings, getting all that love, distracting yourself from the loneliness, but you haven't done the inner work. You haven't done the inner healing, and that's really, really key. And the next thing that I hear so many divorced people say, and it drives me bonkers, y'all have no idea, is when people say, time heals all wounds. No, 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 it doesn't. <laughs> you wouldn't say that about a broken arm, right? If your broken arm, you, you broke your arm, you'd go to the doctor, you'd get the, the right medications, you'd get that bone reset, you'd probably have surgery if it was severe enough, you'd go to OT, you'd go to physical therapy, you'd go to the gym and do weights so you could build back that muscle. You need to think about your broken heart the same as your broken arm. It's an emotional muscle that needs healing, that needs specific tools, that needs specific exercises, that's what you need. Just sitting around waiting for time to heal is not going to do anything. You're going to be stuck where you are. The worst thing I hear 
from people is like, man, if only I'd done this sooner, if only I joined your program sooner, I wouldn't have had wasted years feeling lonely, wasted years in that toxic relationship or wasted years repeating the same pattern over and over and over. Listen, you cannot get back time. Time is more valuable than any money. I'd rather spend money than waste time for sure because we're never gonna get these moments back. We're never gonna get these days back. We're never gonna get our mental health back, right? You've got to make sure that you're using your time wisely. And my client said today, and one of the participants in the uh, program today, she said, you know, I am lonely, but I know that I need to take this time to discern when I'm ready to get back into the dating pool. I will, and I'm not going to spend years and years and years in therapy, right? Because I'm in your program, I'm doing the work, I'm implementing the exercises, I'm using the strategies, I'm re some of my self-talk I know that I'm doing all that and I know that I'll be ready when I'm ready, but I know I'm not ready now. And I know that because I'm still communicating those boundaries, still learning how to push back against people pleasing and, you know, still sitting with that loneliness. And so still learning to love myself, still learning to accept myself. And that's really the key. So in my Finding Peace Again program, that's exactly what we're teaching is the tools you need to 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 say let me let me say i wrote down what my client said i was like what's your biggest takeaway she was like i feel she said i feel so more much more empowered i feel more confident this week than i did last week because every week she's putting up boundaries and she's getting more confident she's feeling less secure she's feeling less um less, you know, second guessing herself, less lonely, more assured, more empowered. And it's so possible you can transform your life if you have the right tools and the right reframing of the self-talk that's going on in your mind. So listen, I have a workshop coming up this week. I would love to have you join us. It's a healing abandonment workshop where you're gonna walk away with two or three tools that you can implement into your life right away. It's going to totally transform your life. I guarantee it. So if you want the details, just put a hashtag yes below and I will reach out to you. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in person and connecting with you and looking forward to those kids going back to school. Right, y'all mamas? I'm so excited, right? So I, I, so I can't wait to hear from you. Let me know if you have any questions, need anything at all. All right. Talk to you soon.